Hey family, it's Attorney Brunel Donald Che. Just wanted to come to you guys with a quick scripture. Today we're coming out of Psalms 37 and 1. And it says, Do not be agitated by evildoers. Do not envy those who do wrong. Psalm 37 and 1. Do not be agitated by evildoers. Do not envy those who do wrong. Woo what a word, I tell you. Hmm, you know, this word is so powerful and so important, especially as believers, because the Lord knew, and of course the psalmist knew, but the Lord knew that as people of God, as people who trust him and count on him for every single thing, that we're going to see people on, in this world living fat, okay? Not fat like in weight, P-H-A-T, fat. Driving nice cars, living in big homes, wearing the best clothes, wearing the best jewelry, you know, um, on the best planes, find their private, private planes around. The Lord knew that we would see those things. The only thing I can say is that you don't know how a person procured that thing that they're riding around in, driving around in. And I'm not going to say none of them are believers. There are believers out there that are in private planes. There are believers out there living P-H-A-T that believe in the Lord, are saved, sold out, sanctified for the Lord. However, we do know that many of the evildoers are out here living like that as well. And I tell you, it can, you know, when you are doing it God's way, when you are trusting the Lord to pay your bills, when you're trusting the Lord in prayer to let your child not go astray, when you are trusting the Lord in your business, in your practice, in your firms, in your uh, ministries, in your giving, your living, your loving, it can be quite overwhelming when you are walking a straight path of the Lord. You're not drinking, you're not smoking, you're not fornicating, you're not an adulterer. You know, we all have our vices. We all have something that God has to work on in us. We all have something. We 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 fall. Otherwise, we'd all be Jesus. <laughs> we'd all be the perfect lamb, perfect without blemish. And none of us are Christ, okay? But I'm saying this because when you're walking with the Lord, when he is uh, above you, under you, left of you, back of you, front of you, when he's your everything, your all in all, and you're struggling to pay your bills, you feel like, okay, you know, I could have just went and sold some drugs and made this money. I could have just sold myself. You know, I'm cute. I'm in great shape. Man, I could have just sold this body and got all my rent money and everything. You know, I could have sold my soul for a record deal or I could have sold my soul just to um, have money. But I'm here every single day coming before the Most High God, the creator of the universe the author and the finisher of everything, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the, the God that has many mansions. And I'm struggling. I'm struggling physically. I'm struggling mentally. I'm struggling spiritually. I'm struggling financially. I'm struggling on so many levels. Only you and God know how you are struggling and what your struggle is and what your issue is. And sometimes you could be going through and you will watch people that you know are wicked. Not even wicked. They're wicked with a T at the end. Not even ED. That's how evil they are. And they're prospering. And they're doing well. Driving the best. Looking the best. Feeling the best. And you're like, oh God, what did I do? Am I not praying long enough, God? Have I not stayed before you? Your word says you're a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. Lord, your word said that you are my Lord and you are my shepherd. I shall not want. Father, your word says that you will never leave me. You will never forsake me. Father, your word says this. Your word says that I'm victorious. That I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. 
So why am I broke, Lord? Why am I, why am I mental health not right, Lord? Why are my children going astray? Why is my body not healthy? This person sleeping with every time, Harry and John ain't caught no HIV and I'm sitting over here with cancer and I'm praying day and night. I tell you, if you're not girded up in your word, if you're not, you know, Reminiscing and thinking on the word of God while you are watching wicked people prosper. I tell you, you will abandon all Christ, all God, and go out there and do something crazy. Do something strange for some change. Or do something strange for some changes in your life. God knows your address. He knows where you live. He knows where you eat. He knows where you work. He knows where you are. And it may not feel like it. And it shouldn't seem like it. But you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Whether you like it or not. God is king. He is not a, uh, it's not a democracy. Where you get to vote and choose and decide where you're supposed to be. And God knows every hair on your head. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29, 11, he knew us in the womb. He knows every fret. He knows every problem. He knows every issue. He knows every doubt. He knows every fear. He knows every bill. He knows every health issue. He knows everything. And his word says, even though you see. People that are not living a godly life, doing well, fret not. Fret not. What does it mean to fret? Don't be stressed about it. Don't be anxious about what's going on with somebody else. Keep your eyes on me. The word of God says, my help, I look to the hills for which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. God hasn't forgotten you. He will never forget his people. His word says when we cry out in a time of trouble, that he will hear us and he will deliver us. Cry out. Cry out in your time of trouble. I cannot tell you how many times we have been in situations. And if not God himself opening the hands of those or causing people to do what God has instructed them to do, we would have been in some troubles and some issues. Who God bless, no one curse. No man can curse. If God says you're going to struggle, you're going to have financial struggles, you're going to have sickness in your body, you're going to go through some things, guess what? You cannot stop it. No man on earth can stop it. But when God says you're going to be blessed, you're going to be overflow, you're going to have abundance, you're going to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think, no man can stop that either. I know it's not easy to see people prospering while you're still in the same place. It seemed like you're in the same place. But I tell you one thing my husband Rashid always said. God is a one touch God. All he got to do is one touch. All he has to do is speak. My husband said all he has to do is say be. And it is what it is. His word. His touch is enough for your situation. His word is enough. His touch is enough to bring you through. To fix it. To make things that you to believe are not going to come to pass for you. To happen for you. I believe that from my soul. Heavenly Father, we bless you and we thank you. We honor you today. We glorify you. We thank you for your love, your mercy, and grace. Father, thank you for making a way out of no way. Father, thank you for your favor and your grace is abounding in our families, Father God. Thank you, Lord God, that you are the king, the way, the truth, and the life. Father, thank you that you are our victory, that you are our strength, that you are our strong tower. We run to you and we are safe. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us today as we cry out in our time of troubles, Lord, that you hear us and deliver, Lord God.
Thank you for helping us not to fret because of evildoers. Thank you, Father God, for blessing us not to be envious of workers of iniquities, those out there doing evil. Father, thank you that all things are working together for our good because we love you and we're called according to your purposes. Father, thank you. Oh, glory. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Father, we shall live and not die and declare your mighty works. Thank you for giving us testimonies. Thank you for the mighty works. Oh, hallelujah, that you have done in our lives today, every single day. Father, we thank you for coming through in the clutch. Lord, when we need you, when we don't know what to do, when we don't want to look left or look right, Father, we're looking toward you, which cometh our help, God. In the name and by the blood of Jesus, Father, we ask for forgiveness of our sins, known and unknown. We forgive all our debtors. We repent, Father God, of all evil, Lord God. In the name and by the blood of Jesus, come through, Father God, like only you can, God. In Jesus' name. Father, we're praying for all our loved ones, friends, family, social media platforms, God, in Jesus' name. All the sick and poor, shut in, hungry, hopeless, traffic, abuse, those facing injustice, the elderly and the widows and the orphans. Father, your word says, Psalm 37 and 1, do not be agitated by evildoers. Do not envy those who do wrong. God bless you. God bless your family. And God bless America. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video and to this channel. We're doing all we can to reach as many people as we can with the serving up the soul food, which is the good news of the Bible. Bye for now.